Welcome to Finance with Avery. In this video, I want to give you an overview of the top 10 savings accounts ranked by APY annual percentage yield for November 2023. Now, there have been some changes to this ranking since I made the last video like this back in September 2023. The financial institutions that had the top APY 5.25%, they were tied at number one on that video have fell down to tied at number six, some of them have. So yeah, there have been some changes and some shakeups to this ranking list for sure. A new number one, other new ones in between there, some moving up and down with other financial institutions and their saving account APY. So yeah, this list is definitely different than that last video. I like to do these videos every other month or so because there are definitely changes to the APYs for sure. For the past year or so, these savings accounts have been on the upper trajectory with raising their APY and interest rates. And there are actually more than 10 accounts on this video because there are a couple ties. And I'll tell you about those. I'm also going to give you an example of how much interest you would be gaining if you had an account with any of these accounts with the APY where it's at with how the interest compounds and also give you a little background on the financial institution themselves because some of these banks are newer you know and some of these banks may be new to you when i first started doing these videos last year some of these banks i didn't know of you know basically so i had to do some research so i've done research on all these banks and financial institutions and these accounts going to give you the information here before we jump into the ranking list i want to tell you about some of the common features that all of these accounts have in common and also some of the things that are required to be on my list and the top common feature and requirement to get on my list is that all of these accounts have FDIC insurance. They are all FDIC insured, Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation. Very important that the bank or financial institution that you deal with has FDIC insurance. If a bank doesn't have this, basically, I'm not putting my money there. And the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation is a United States government corporation that was created by the Banking Act of 1933 during the Great Depression to restore trust in the American banking system. And since the FDIC was created no customer has lost money in a bank that's fdic insured even if they've gone under basically so with fdic insurance if the bank has you know issues and they go bankrupt or they go under basically and you can't get to your funds for a moment because of that FDIC will step in and insure your amount, typically up to that $250,000 for individual accounts. They will get your funds back to you, get your deposits back to you. So it's very important to have the FDIC insurance and all of these accounts on this video right here are FDIC insured, whether it be through the bank and financial institution themselves or the bank that they partner with, because some of these are financial institutions that are a part, like an online division of a bigger bank. And I'll tell you about those and everything, of course. And also another thing that all of these accounts have in common is that there is no monthly maintenance fee. There's no kind of, you know, $2 or $3 just for having the account open. You know, like, oh, we've got to maintain this account for you. So we've got to charge you this every month. None of these accounts have a monthly maintenance fee, regardless of how much is in your account balance. And the next common feature that all of these accounts have in common is that the APY annual percentage yield is variable and subject to change. So the APY you get when you sign up for this account is not fixed. It can change the next day, the next month, the next week. So that rate isn't necessarily guaranteed. It could go down or it can go up. Like I stated earlier in the video though, these APYs for these high yield savings accounts have been in the upper trajectory around the past year or so. Now that may start to slow down some because the federal funds rate and what's going on there, it's been kind of a pause going on with the government. I won't jump into all that. And you know, competition would also drive up these APYs why sometimes you know these banks they want your money because they use your money to make more money on huh? and so they're going to pay you some of that basically that's why you have these high apys for these accounts they want to pay you some as a thank you but they also want to make money with your money by get issuing loans and all that i won't go into all that anyways so yeah the apy is variable and subject to change and that's just pretty much a common thing with apys with savings accounts and checking accounts you'll find a fixed apy on a cd account something like that so if you want something like that definitely check out my playlist on cd accounts i make videos like this top five cd accounts ranked by apy and i do different length of cd accounts and also no penalty cd accounts so check that out if you want a fixed apy for a certain amount of time but for these accounts for savings accounts these apys are all variable Next up on the list, there is no monthly minimum balance required to avoid fees, which is similar to what I was talking about with the maintenance fee. But you do sometimes have accounts that will charge you a certain amount if you don't have a certain balance in your account. With all of these accounts right here, you don't have to have a certain balance to basically avoid fees. There's going to be no fees charged to you depending on what your balance is or anything like that. Now, some of these accounts do have a certain stipulation where you have to have a certain balance, at least in your account to obtain the APY that they're offering. But I'll tell you about those when we get to those accounts. 
And also lastly on the list, some of these accounts have initial deposit requirements. So when you sign up for an account, they may have a requirement a stipulation where you have to deposit at least, you know, $100 or $1 or $1,000 or different amounts. Some of them don't have an initial deposit requirement. And I'll tell you what the initial deposit requirement is for all of these accounts and also for the ones that don't have an initial deposit requirement. And all of these accounts basically are nationwide available throughout the United States. Now, some of them aren't available in certain states. When you start signing up for it with an account, you know, when it asks you what state it you're in, they'll pretty much tell you right there if you're in a state that doesn't have this account available. And some of them say it right on the front as soon as you pretty much try to sign up for the account. But for the most part, overall, these accounts are available nationwide. And now I'm going over that list with some important features and things that these accounts have in common. Let's jump into the top 10 video. And at number 10, we have a tie. First, we have CIT Bank with a platinum savings account with a 5.05% APY. There is a $100 minimum initial deposit requirement to open this account. And at 5.05% APY is for balances of at least $5,000 or more. If you have a balance underneath $5,000, then an APY is going to be 0.25% APY for this platinum savings account, which is a major difference right there. However, CIT Bank also has another savings account called the Savings Connect account that has an APY of 4.65% with a minimum $100 initial deposit requirement. So if you want to have a savings account with CIT Bank, but your balance is going to be under that $5,000, then it's going to be better to open that Savings Connect account because you'll get that 4.65% APY. However, if you have a balance that's going to be $5,000 or more, then it would be better to have the Platinum Savings account with CIT Bank because you would be getting that 5.05% APY. So with this bank right here, it kind of depends on what your balance is going to be. So you can start the account, you know, with $1,000, $100 or so. But if you know you're going to get over $5,000 in this account eventually, then you may you know, want to look more into that Platinum Savings account versus the Savings Connect. It pretty much just depends on what your plan is and if you want to bank with CIT Bank. Now, as an example, if you had $10,000 in this account with the 5.05% APY with the interest compounded daily. After one month, that $10,000 would be $10,041.17. ,010. So that one month of interest you would have obtained would have been $41.17. CIT was founded in 1908 in St. Louis, Missouri. CIT stands for Commercial Investment Trust. After various ventures of acquisitions being sold and bankruptcy, CIT was acquired by First Citizens Bank Shares in January 2022. CIT provides financing, cash management, treasury management, mortgage loans, leasing, advisory services, and more. CIT headquarters is in New York, New York. Also tied at number 10 is the Redneck Bank Money Market account at 5.05% APY. There is a minimum $500 initial deposit required to open this account. And that 5.05% APY is on a balance of up to $100,000. Amounts over $100,000 will earn only 0.50% APY. So this account right here kind of has a cap on how large of a balance you can have to obtain that APY. And with this account, the interest is compounded monthly and credited monthly. Now, for an example with this one, if you had $10,000 in this account with that 5.05% APY with the interest compounded monthly, after one month, that $10,000 would be $10,041.08. Redneck Bank is an internet banking division of All American Bank, which was established in Mustang, Oklahoma in 1969 as the first Mustang State Bank. Now headquartered in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, Redneck Bank offers a checking account and a money market savings account. Coming in at number nine is the Premise Personal Savings Account at 5.07% APY. There is a $1 minimum initial deposit required to open this account and the interest is compounded monthly and credited monthly. And for an example with this one, if you had $10,000 in this account at 5.07% APY with the interest compounded monthly, after one month, that $10,000 would be $10,041.33. Premise Financial is a holding company for Premise Bank, which is a state charter bank headquartered in Glen Allen, Virginia. Premise offers checking and savings accounts, loans, a credit card, and more. The company was formerly known as Southern National Bank Corp of Virginia and then changed its name to Premise Financial Corporation. Premise Financial was founded in 2004 and is based in McLean, Virginia. And at number eight, we have a tie. First up here, we have BMO Alto Online Savings at 5.10% APY. There is no initial minimum deposit required to open this account and the interest is compounded daily and credited monthly. And for an example with this one, if you had $10,000 in this account at 5.10% APY with the interest compounding daily, 
After one month, that $10,000 would be $10,041.58. BMO Alto is the online-only banking option launched in April 2023 that's a part of the BMO Financial Group. BMO Alto offers a savings account and CD accounts. Bank of Montreal, commonly known as BMO, owns BMO Harris Bank through the holding company BMO Financial Corporation. In the United States, it does business as BMO Financial Group. BMO's main formal headquarters is in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Also tied at number 8 is the Basque Bank Internet Savings Account at 5.10% APY. There is no initial minimum deposit required to open this account. And I did notice on this account that it stated that the account must be funded within 15 days of opening. And the interest is compounded daily and credited monthly. So if you had $10,000 in this account at 5.10% APY with the interest compounding daily, after one month, that $10,000 would be $10,041.58. Basque Bank is an online bank that offers one savings account that earns interest and another that earns American Airlines miles. Basque Bank is a division of Texas Capital Bank, which was founded in 1998, and their headquarters is in Dallas, Texas. And at number seven, we have another tie. First here, we have FNBO Direct with a high yield savings account at 5.15% APY. There is a $1 minimum initial deposit required to open this account, and the interest is compounded monthly and credited monthly. So if you had $10,000 in this account at that 5.15% APY with the interest compounding monthly, after one month, that $10,000 would be $10,041.83. FNBO stands for First National Bank of Omaha and was originally founded in 1857 as the Kunze Brothers Bank. In 1863, they also began doing business as First National Bank of Omaha. The subsidiary is First National Bank of Nebraska, which is privately owned. FNBO Direct is a division of FNBO, which started in 2006, and they offer a savings and checking account. FNBO headquarters is in Omaha, Nebraska. And also at number seven is the Bread Financial High Yield Savings Account at 5.15% APY. There is a $100 minimum initial deposit required to open this account, and the interest is compounded daily and credited monthly. So if you had $10,000 in this account at 5.15% APY with the interest compounding daily, after one month, that $10,000 would be $10,041.92. Braid Financials was formerly known as Alliance Data, which was formed by a combination of the JCPenney's credit card processing unit and the Limited's credit card bank business. Alliance Data changed its name to Braid Financial Holdings in March 2022. Bridge Savings is a product of the Community Capital Bank and was founded in 1996 with the headquarters in Columbus, Ohio. Bread Financials offers savings and CD accounts. And we have another tie at number six. First here we have Evergreen Bank Group with a high yield savings at 5.25% APY. There is a minimum of $100 initial deposit required to open this account. And at 5.25% APY is for balances up to a million dollars. If you have a balance over a million dollars in this bank, then the APY is going to be 0.00%. So basically, you're not going to get any APY if your balance is over a million dollars with this account. And with this account, the interest is compounded daily and credited monthly. So an example with this one, if you had $10,000 in this account at 5.25% APY with the interest compounding daily, after one month, that $10,000 would be $10,042.75. After 12 years with a publicly traded bank, Darren Campbell resigned from his executive bank position to start Evergreen Bank Group. He recruited a group of investors and in early 2007 reorganized and recapitalized a small but well-known community bank in Evergreen Park, Illinois. Evergreen Bank offers various personal and business accounts and loans. Their headquarters is in Oak Brook, Illinois. Also tied at number six is the Valley Direct High Yield Savings Account at 5.25% APY. There is a minimum $1 initial deposit required to open this account, and the interest is compounded daily and credited monthly. So same example for this one, if you had $10,000 in this account at that 5.25% APY with the interest compounding daily, after one month, that $10,000 would be $10,042.75. Valley National Bank Corp. doing business as Valley Bank is a regional bank holding company headquartered in Wayne, New Jersey. Valley Bank was founded in 1927 as a Passaic Park Trust Company. The company has grown through numerous acquisitions in northern and central New Jersey and has become one of the largest commercial banks headquartered in New Jersey. Valley Direct offers savings and CD accounts. 
And also tied at number six is the UFB Direct High Yield Savings Account at 5.25% APY. There is no initial minimum deposit required to open this account, and the interest is compounded daily and credited monthly. So with this one as well, if you had $10,000 in this account at 5.25% APY with the interest compounding daily, after one month, that $10,000 will be $10,042.75. UFB Direct is a digital bank founded in 2000 as a division of Axos Bank. UFB Direct offers deposit accounts and mortgages. Axos Bank was previously known as Bank of Internet USA until it rebranded as Axos in 2018. Axos Bank headquarters is in San Diego, California. And at number 5 is the TAP Bank Online Savings Account at 5.27% APY. There is no minimum initial deposit required to open this account and the interest is compounded daily and credited monthly. As an example for this one, if you had $10,000 in this account at 5.27% APY with the interest compounding daily, after one month, that $10,000 will be $10,042.92. TAP Bank was founded in 1998 with the goal of offering banking services that focused on the trucking industry as a banking service located inside of truck stops. It still handles the specific banking needs of truck drivers and fleet operators, but the bank's products have expanded to also serve individual customers. TAP stands for Transportation Alliance Bank, and they're headquartered in Ogden, Utah. And at number four is the VO Bank Cornerstone Money Market Savings Account at 5.28% APY. There is a minimum $100 initial deposit required to open this account. And I did notice on this account that there is a $5 monthly fee if you receive paper statements. If you don't want to receive paper statements, then you won't get charged that $5 monthly fee. And for this account, the interest is compounded daily and credited monthly. So an example with this account, if you had $10,000 in this account at 5.28% APY with the interest compounding daily, after one month, that $10,000 will be $10,043.01. VO Bank is the online bank division of Mid First Bank, which is one of the largest privately held banks in the United States. Mid First Bank was established in 1911 and is headquartered in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. VO Bank offers money market savings and CD accounts. At number three is the IV Bank High Yield Savings Account at 5.30% APY. There is a minimum $2,500 initial deposit required to open this account. And you must maintain a balance of at least $2,500 to earn an APY of 5.30%. And there is an account balance maximum of $1 million on this account. And the interest is compounded daily and credited monthly. So an example with this account, if you had $10,000 in this account at 5.30% APY with the interest compounding daily, after one month that $10,000 would be $10,043.09. Ivy Bank is a digital banking division of Cambridge Savings Bank, which is a Massachusetts state chartered bank that has been helping customers since 1834. Ivy Bank was established in 2021 with the headquarters in Cambridge, Massachusetts, and they offer savings and CD accounts. And at number two is the Brio Direct High Yield Savings at 5.35% APY. There is a minimum $5,000 initial deposit required to open this account and you must maintain a balance of at least $25 to earn this APY of 5.35%. And with this account, the interest is compounded daily and credited each statement cycle. And I researched around as far as how long a statement cycle is with Brio Direct. And the only real information I found is that a statement cycle varies by date. So basically, I believe it's a month, but it won't necessarily be like from the first of the month to the 30th or 31st of the month. It could be from the 15th of one month to the 15th of the next month. So the dates could vary as far as what a statement cycle is. But basically, you should be looking around a month for that. For an example, with this account, if you had $10,000 in this account at 5.35% APY with the interest compounding daily, after one month, that $10,000 would be $10,043.51. Brio Direct is an online subsidiary of Webster Bank that offers various deposit accounts. Webster Bank was founded in 1935 by Harold Webster Smith as the first federal savings of Waterbury in Connecticut. Their headquarters is in Stanford, Connecticut. And at number one is the Popular Direct Online Savings Account at 5.40% APY. There is a minimum $100 initial deposit required to open this account, and the interest is compounded daily and credited monthly. So for an example, if you had $10,000 in this account at 5.40% APY with the interest compounding daily, after one month, that $10,000 would be $10,043.93. Popular Direct was launched in 2016 as an online-only bank that's a subsidiary of Popular Bank. 
Popular Incorporated was founded in 1893 and does business as Banco Popular in Puerto Rico and Virgin Islands and Popular Bank in the United States. Popular Direct offers an online savings account and various term CDs. Popular Headquarters is in San Juan, Puerto Rico. And also there is a bonus number one, which was a bonus number one in the video I did back in September of the top 10 savings accounts ranked by APY. So the bonus number one is that Betterment Cash Reserve account at 5.50% APY. So let me tell you how this works, because starting off standard, the Betterment Cash Reserve account has an APY of 4.75%. However, they have a promotional bonus going on where you would get an additional 0.75% APY boost for the rest of the year for new customers. So if you're a new customer with Betterment, then you would get that 0.75 APY boost on top of their current APY, which is currently 4.75%. So with that addition and the math right there, your APY for this account, if you were a new customer, will be 5.50%, which is higher than all the other APYs on this list. But there is kind of like a more of a stipulation with that. That's why it's not number one on my list, but it's number one as a bonus. So yeah, with this account, the interest accrues daily, but it compounds monthly and it is credited monthly. So for an example, with this account, if you had $10,000 in this account with that 5.50% APY, with the interest compounding monthly, after one month, that $10,000 will be $10,044.58. And Betterment is an American financial advisory company which provides digital investment and cash management services. Betterment was founded in 2008 in New York City by John Stein, a Columbia Business School MBA graduate, and Eli Broverman, a lawyer out of NYU School of Law. Betterment headquarters is in New York City, New York. And so that is the list right there of the top 10 savings accounts ranked by APY. As I told you at the beginning of the video, there's more than 10 accounts in this video because there are several ties, you know, a lot of competition in this space right here with the high yield savings with these online banks and online financial institutions. And if you want more information on some of these accounts, I'll have a link down in the description for more in-depth detailed videos I've done on these accounts, including the Betterment account, the UFB Direct account, and I'll list some of the other high yield savings accounts, reviews and overview videos that I've done in the description as well. And if you like this video, make sure you click on the like button down below. And if you like personal finance content, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. I put out at least one or two videos a week and I like to do these ranking videos, of course, about different kind of bank accounts and also in-depth detailed reviews and overview videos of bank accounts, promotional promos that are going on for bank accounts and videos about the stock market and in individual stocks and ETFs and so on and so on. Personal finance, make sure you subscribe to the channel, Finance with Avery. That is it with the video of the top 10 savings accounts ranked by APY for November 2023. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Take care.